In this video we're going to look at standard form and how to complete division for numbers that are in standard form. So if you've got 8 times 10 to the 5 and you divide it by 2 times 10 squared, first of all you do the division for the numbers at the front of each of the numbers in standard form. So you're going to do 8 divided by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then you're going to do 10 to the 5 divided by 10 squared. Now remember whenever you're dividing numbers with the same base number you take away the powers. So 10 to the 5 divided by 10 squared would be times 10 to the power of 3. So that's that uh, division completed. Let's have a look at a slightly trickier one. Okay, so this time we've got 1.2 multiplied by 10 to the 9 divided by 4 times 10 cubed. So again you do the division for the numbers at the front. So 1.2 divided by 4 is 0.3 times 10 to the power of, well 9 take away 3 is 6, so times 10 to the 6. Now looking at this, this number here isn't between 1 and 10. Okay, so we need to multiply this number by 10. If we multiply this number by 10 and we get 3 times 10, now if we make this one 10 times bigger, we need to make this one 10 times smaller. So this would be 10 to the power of 5. Okay, this time we've got 9 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by 3 times 10 to the minus 4. So again, do the division for the numbers at the front. So 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 10. And you've got 10 to the power of 8 divided by 10 to the power of minus 4. So remember, you're going to take away the powers. So you're going to get 8 take away minus 4. So that 8 minus minus 4, well, that would then be 12. Okay, remember, whenever you've got the two negatives directly beside each other, you add. So it's 8 plus 4, which is 12. So this would be 3 times 10 to the power of 12. So you do 9 divided by 3, which is 3, and you take away the parts, 8 take away, minus 4 is 12. Okay, let's have a look at a question that we're going to use a calculator for. So it says work out the value of 2.7 times 10 to the 3 divided by 3.375 times 10 to the 5. Give your answer in standard form. So get your calculator and type it in. So we're going to have 2.7 times 10, so this is standard form, times 10 to the power of 3 divided by... 3.375 times 10 to the power of 5. When we do that, we get an answer of 8 times 10 to the, uh, to the negative 3. So the answer would be 8 times 10 to the power of negative 3.